Hey guys, it's Shake here with E-Trailer. Today we have a 2023 Chevy Silverado 2500. We're gonna be taking a look at, I'm gonna show you how to install the Valterra Mighty Cord Gooseneck and Fifth Wheel Wiring Kit. Installing a seven pole in the bed of your truck is, to me, a very important accessory to, to have in your truck if you plan on towing a fifth wheel or gooseneck. I like having everything that I need to connect um, the gooseneck or fifth wheel in the bed of the truck. So having a seven way in the bed of your truck is going to make it that much easier. Otherwise, people will usually drape your seven pole over top of your tailgate, which can cause a couple of problems. One being that that cord, every time you make a turn or drive down the highway, is vibrating against the back of your tailgate, which is not good for the cord. You could eventually wear through the insulation on a cord or potentially scratch up or mark up your tailgate. Um, another thing is, is if you're plugging into your bumper, and you put your tailgate down to unlatch your gooseneck or fifth wheel, you decide to pull away and your trailer is still hooked up, the, the electric is still hooked up, you could pull up, rip the plug right out of your truck or out of your camper. So having it in the bed of your truck will allow you to connect everything on your fifth wheel or gooseneck that you need to, and then also connect your seven pole. You can come around after everything's latched up, Plug in your seven pole, put your tailgate up, and you're ready to roll. Now when it comes to the insulation, it's going to be extremely easy in our 23 Silverado 2500 because it'll come with a prep kit, which is a just a filler plug for an opening that they already have here. And with the help of this Kurt adapter, it's going to look as about as factory as you can get. That being said, let's go ahead and show you how to do it. To begin our installation, we'll take a trim panel tool or a screwdriver. You're going to have two tabs on the inside of this plug that we need to remove. Popping out. Usually if you get one, you can pry on the other. It'll come out. There we go. One of those rings just fell off. That's okay because we won't be reinstalling this. You might want to hold on to it if you ever decide to take your wiring back out. Um, but this wiring is literally as easy as sticking these, the pigtail end or the T end of it down through your wheel well. Make sure it comes out, which we see there. We'll tie up all our excess length down underneath. We're going to be using the Kurt adapter plate, which is designed to cover up the majority of this opening. We'll slide the plug through there. Take our new plug, snap it in place, make sure it's secured, and then slide our adapter plate over. Slide our plug through opening and then snap the Kurt adapter plate in place. We will secure this using the four self tappers included in the Kurt kit. The Valterra kit will come with some self tapping screws if you're not using the Kurt adapter, but I highly recommend using it because of the clean finish. The Kurt screws are gonna be a little bit longer. With everything secured up here, we'll go up underneath and make our connection. Now underneath our truck, we have our spare tire removed just for uh, ease of visibility. We have this white tab here. We'll pop it back, press down on the tab. Sometimes you have to push in on this tab, push in on the plug and then pull out. We can take our pigtail here and I'm going to route it in such a fashion that the wiring is not going to get in the way of anything. Run it up and over this. And typically in this area right back here is where I like to spool up the excess because there's more than enough space here. Um, you can spool it up right here if you want, but it's just kind of a tight area. Take this plug our these two connections together make sure it clicks up that tab and then take 
our new plug and plug it into the factory. Give it a tug, make sure it doesn't come off. And just like that, you've tied into the seven pole on the back of your truck by your bumper, which will give you full functioning of your seven pole up in the bed of your truck. All there's left to do is get this wiring all zip tied up. All we have left to do is test out our wiring. We'll hook up our tester box here. That's good, we're already showing 12 volts to the plug. We'll go ahead and run through our functions. We have our left turn, right turn, running lights, and brake lights. With everything working properly, that's gonna do it for a look at and installation of the Valterra Mighty Cord Gooseneck and Fifth Wheel Embed Wiring Kit.